Good morning. It is Wednesday and I'm actually filming an intro um, and I'm trying to wear a kitten out so that's why I'm in the floor right now. But this is gonna be a little chaotic because I'm also exhausted. That's why I'm trying to wear out the kitten. He did not get enough playtime yesterday, so he, thank you, kept us up all night. <laughs> so I'm overly caffeinated, but also still exhausted. But anyway, I am fully embracing the cottage core witchy vibes today, mostly because I need to go winterize in my garden, hence the overalls. So if no one is around, um, I may take some footage of that just to give you a little slice of Vermont life. I have a bed in a community garden here, but it is kind of in a public space. So if there are too many people around, I won't film that, but I need to get that done. I also have to go work uh, in a little bit. And then hopefully tonight I'm going to get back to the mini series so long I've been working on. I actually have three of the blocks done. I did not, I only showed one in the last vlog, but I have footage of the other two. I may just put some of that in right here just so you can see the ones that I've gotten finished. I really, really love the, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. I, <laughs> y'all. what I was saying. I, I was talking about the courthouse steps block, I think. I love that one. Probably some footage here after footage of a kitten. So these are the three and a half-ish blocks that I've gotten done. This one is the courthouse steps. I really love how the colors worked out for this one. Uh, this is the first one I did and I'm, I'm really surprised at how well these are going considering how poorly my test block did, but learned a lot and it's going pretty smoothly now, which I'm very thankful for. And we have decided we are keeping the kitten. He is mostly fitting in except when he keeps us up all night. He and Larson are slowly starting to get along with each other. He loves Larson, like he wants to be his best friend, Larson is still not super sure about that, which is surprising because he loved our other cat who passed away. But at any rate, this is Sai, and he is an unholy terror. But back to this week's vlog, I'm going to try really hard to get caught up on the mini series so long. If I get some time tonight, I'm going to work on those blocks. We'll see how exhausted I am. I have a really full day with work, then getting the garden stuff done. I also have therapy today, and I have a nail appointment this afternoon too. So we'll see how much energy I have left after all of those things are done. But I'm going to go get some work done and then head to the garden this afternoon. Hopefully I have at least a little bit of footage that you can see of that and then there'll be some sewing this afternoon. So let's get to it. So this is the community garden. My bed is the one right here in front. It's a pretty big garden with I think 10 or 12 beds that you can sign up to participate and if they have an open bed you can plant things. But I needed to overwinter my bed uh, taking out all of the plants that have been mostly killed off by the frost and trimming things back, pulling any remaining weeds and pulling out my tomato cages and then the wiring supports that I used for crop cover. I needed to pack all those up, take them home with me. So you'll see me picking through the soil there, getting any tomatoes that had fallen so I don't have too many volunteer tomatoes next year and pulling up all of the plants so that I can later put down 
some chaff and some coffee bags to overwinter the garden and get it ready for spring. Friday now and I did not get a lot done this week as far as knitting or any sewing. I have not touched the sewing machine. I was just super tired with the kitten keeping us up but I did get part of my garden done um, and winterized and then I had to go to my nail appointment and I didn't have time the rest of the day to get it done and then I needed to go pick up some supplies to cover the garden bed. I had to get some coffee bags from the local coffee roaster and some chaff. And I was going to try to put that out yesterday before it started raining, but I locked my keys in my Jeep. <laughs> so I had to wait till my spouse got home with the other key. So that didn't get done and it's been raining ever since. Maybe this afternoon, if the sun comes out, or tomorrow, I will get the rest of the garden bed winterized. So I'll try to get some footage of that. But I am feeling a lot more energized today. I've had a couple good nights of sleep. The kitten is calming down. And I am going to definitely work on the mini series so long today after work and then I'm also at the toe shaping for the second sock of my skin cocaine socks. I'm gonna finish that maybe tonight and that means I get to cast on a new pair of socks in one of my Halloween colors today or tomorrow. So I'm super, super excited about that. So I will have some footage of that, but that's kind of the plan for this weekend. Like I said, it's Friday, so I'm gonna go grab some coffee get some work done, and then I'm also going to run to yoga class later today. It's my favorite yoga class on Fridays, so it's a really good end to the week. So let's get started. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? This is half the reason I haven't gotten a lot done. Because he's so cute. Look at him. I just want to snuggle him. I did get some knitting time this afternoon and finished the toe shaping on my second sock for the skein cocaine socks. So then all I had to do was Kitchener stitch to close the toe. And of course the kitten wanted to help out with that, but it didn't take me too long. I've got the Kitchener stitch memorized and then I did the weaving end of the ends that I had left and I have two new socks to add to my sock drawer. I guess it's afternoon. It's Saturday and we have been running around all morning doing chores. We got the garden winterized. I got the herb garden that I have on my deck winterized, which means mostly throwing away all of the dirt and the dead plants. So all of that's done, cleaned the house, did all of the chores. So I've just gotten out of the shower. So forgive the no makeup. It's Saturday and I don't care. Uh, and I have my coffee. I'm finally having coffee at one o'clock on Saturday, but I thought I'd give you a little update where I am with the mini series so long. I'm going to spend some time working on that this afternoon and I'm catching up on Stranded Dye Works 
podcast slash YouTube from Jude. I just discovered them and absolutely love their channel. They're so, so funny. Um, and I'll link them in one of the little pop-up things, wherever that appears. But here's where I am with the mini series, So Along. I have three locks fully finished and I am in eh, a little less than the middle of the diamond block. So I'm gonna finish that one right now and then I will start on the, I think the hexagon side step is next. I'll do that one and the pineapple and then I just have two more to do. And this upcoming week is a bonus week. So I really think I can get caught up and be back on track by the week after that. So I think that's my plan. I might do a little bit of spinning today as well. Um, and I did cast on a new pair of socks last night. I finished my uh, skin cocaine socks and I started some Halloween socks. So I'm super excited to work on those. I probably will not get them done before Halloween, given that it is currently October 15th. But hey, I'm excited to have them on my needles and they're kind of a neutral color. They're kind of a gray and black and a little bit of orange. So they will also work for November or whenever they get finished. So. I'm really happy about that, but I'm also really feeling like working on the sweater that I have in progress. So I might get that out and get some footage of working on the sweater tonight on the couch. We'll see uh, how ambitious uh, this plan is later today, but yeah, that's my plan for the weekend. So let's get to sewing. So I'm finishing up this block here and it's the diamond sidestep block and I really liked this one. It went super, super fast because for the exterior pieces, you don't have to do the individual uh, tiny strips of the contrasting or the neutral fabric that you're using. It's just large pieces of whatever fabric you're using. So. It finishes off really quickly after you've done the colored center part. So this was a really fun block to do and I definitely have my kind of rhythm down now. It's a lot easier to get through the blocks. I've got everything set up on my sewing table so I can grab whatever tool I need and then do the blocks kind of in almost an assembly line fashion. And I also found that cutting down the 
pattern to the size of block that I'm making beforehand rather than using the entire large piece of computer paper and found that was really, really helpful. So after I'd sewn all of the backing or background fabric on, I trimmed up the block and another one is ready to go. I only have, I think, two more left to do and I'm done with the black blocks that I'm doing. Then I'm gonna switch over to using white for the background fabric. So I'm gonna have six in black background fabric and six in the white. So I'm super excited to get more of these done. On Sunday, we took advantage of the beautiful weather and went out for a hike and got to see some of the gorgeous colors that we're having in Vermont this season. So I thought I'd share a little bit of that with you. Okay, so it's Tuesday now and I just finished up work a little bit ago and um, I just thought I'd show you where I am with the mini series so along and the sock that I started. So I'm almost done with the cuff on the sock. I will definitely work on that a little bit later tonight. I didn't get out the sweater project yet. I might do that tonight. I have a lot of stuff that I need to get done. I've got some volunteer work that I need to do tonight as well. So we'll see how much time I get, but I won't film any of that because I need to edit this vlog and get it uploaded. And then the mini series so long, I've gotten five blocks done and I'll pop those in. So I've gotten those done. There are three more that I need to finish sometime this week or this weekend, and then I will be all caught up. But next week, I have a very quick, somewhat unexpected trip. I have to go out of town, so I might try to get the next two done as well. I'll just have to see how much time I get. But for next week's vlog, I'm going to be showing you how I clean my spinning wheels. So I have both a Shop Matchless and an Ashford Traditional, and both of them definitely need a deep cleaning. So that will be most of next week's vlog since I have some travel. So I hope you all are looking forward to that. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of my life here in Vermont, the projects that I'm working on, and how the mini series So Along is going so far. So definitely stay tuned and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel out and leave me a comment. Let me know what projects you're working on and if you do knitting, if you do embroidery, if you do spinning, I'd love to find some more spinners out there and I will see you all in next week's vlog. Have a great week. <laughs>